Hi, welcome back. We're going to do lesson 2.1 now, which is all about the asset store. Uh, and the asset store is really exciting. It means you can get going really quickly with content. So it's a quick introduction to what that is and what you might do with it. Um, we're going to go to Windows Asset Store. And depending on which version you've got, you'll either find this message, which says it's moved, or it will be here inside Unity. It was really helpful when it was inside Unity, but we'll, we'll come to that later. And I'll talk about the package manager in the next lesson. So don't worry about that. What we're going to do first of all is we're going to have a look at the asset store. So I'm just going to load up in a web browser because that's easiest for me. Um, and you'll see here that I've logged in as, as my, my Unity account. And you can buy anything you want in here. They've got sale on the moment. So that the Cinti stuff's lovely. Right, let's have a look, look at this really quickly. Right, this is really good fun. Um, you get a whole pack of city objects, which are all built as really low polygon meshes. Uh, great way to start building. Um, Projects, I think it's 50% off at the moment. Why not be when you're looking at it? Uh, but they've always got sales on. So like, it's, it's quite a lot of fun. You know, let's have a look at that. That's one on the wall. Um, we've got a little video explaining what's what's in that content package. Um, let's just scrub forward a little bit. There you go. It's something someone else has made of it. Uh, there's some nice pictures of what people have done so you can see what sort of things you'd get out of it. So this one's quite pricey. It's a whole, whole pack here of Apocalypse stuff. Um, you'll find some, you know, some reviews about it. So, you know, let's have a look at the reviews. It'll tell you what people thought. Yeah, a few people have given some reviews, and that one's very positive. Um, the overview is sort of just a description from the manufacturer, what what it's all about. Um, and yeah, and I I know that Cinti Studios is quite reliable, so I feel quite comfortable buying from them. Um, package content is quite useful if you don't really know what it is you're looking at. Uh, when the project gets uploaded to Unity uh, to the Unity Asset Store. They have to create this this project folder so you can actually see what's inside it. So we can click on this, and this is exactly the same folder structure you'd have inside Unity when you download it. So we can have a look at like you know, vehicles. That's a vehicle there, and it show you a picture of the prefab for that. So this is really really cool because you you actually see what you see inside Unity, so you know what you're going to buy before you buy it. Um, scenes. There's some demo scenes have been built. You just get a little symbol logo for scene for that because um, you can't see a whole scene unless you're in Unity. Uh, and releases, you know, if they've done updates and things. So a really good manufacturer like Cinti would do a lot of work on that. Um, let's try looking for something else. Let's try looking for uh, gun. And I'm sorry, that's a very gamey thing to do, but there's just lots and lots of those. So here we go. Here's some, here's some guns. Um, let's try and find one that looks like somebody's made it themselves. Uh, this one, Volta Gun, is kind of cool, doesn't it? A bit sci-fi. Um, so it says not enough ratings. Not many people have looked at it. So this is quite cool because it's they've imported the 3D model, so we can really have a good look at it. We can zoom in. It doesn't always happen, um, but we can see the quality of the materials and the way it's been made. It's been made very nicely. Got some pictures, um, package content. It's got some information about the actual the actual guns. We can click on the FBX and see the prefab. Um, I'll explain what prefabs are later. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. Do I like it? Yes. No, I don't know. You buy it, and it adds, gets added to your library. Um, it's worth knowing that you get a license, which means that it's yours to use for whatever you want inside Unity uh, of any of your projects. Um, it's an open source license once you get it. Uh, if you are you know, an individual small business, that's what you want. Large enterprises, you know, uh, that's if you're working for like a, a big film studio and you're working across different countries, you might want that. Um, but you, the point is, you get your license for it. So anything you buy on the Unity Asset Store or even anything you don't have to buy, I'll come to that, um, is protected by Unity's license. So you can just use it without any fear about where the uh, where it's getting used. Um, I mean, unless they say, there must be some very specific situations, but I've never seen anybody warn me not to. Uh, you can click on the manufacturer's information. That's, that's the, the publisher, person that published this. So uh, Lemo Lab, they might have other things. You know, there we go, there's some other things that they've made. So you can see a whole range of things that that person's uploaded. And this might be something you want to do. If you've got some really nice 3D content, you've got at 3D modeling, you might want to create your own store and publish things. Um, you know, you can make some money doing that. Now, let's just go back into searching for assets. Let's go assets 3D. Um, now, I'm going to start looking for something here, and I'm going to change my um, filters here. So I'm going to change my pricing to see if actually I can click here to free assets. There is loads and loads of free stuff on the Unity Asset Store, and you know, it's hit and miss. Like you can get some quite bad stuff, but look, you know, Dream Forest Tree. Let's have a look at that. How does that look? That looks quite pretty, doesn't it? You know, and it's free. So you might want to find something that's 
uh, that, that you know, it's a proper view project, and that is free. And you see, here's a, a picture of just the objects on their own. It's just four trees and two bushes. You just click Add to My Assets, and it loads it into your library. Um, it says here what comes with it, four trees, two simple brushes, you know, package contents. You can go and have a look at the detail of it. So there's quite a lot of free stuff. Now, I've got a recommendation for anybody who wants to get started, and that's to look at Unity's concert content. So I'm going to just turn off 3D there. I can look at Publisher and search for Publishers. Now, we've already found a couple, right? Well, I'm going to type in Unity, because Unity make all their own stuff too. And look, so I've already got this one here, Standard Assets for Unity. Um, Buried Memories is a really cool set of stuff. I didn't actually pay that for it. It was free at one point. Um, and it's a, vi a film they made in Unity, and they published all of the, the content for it. Um, Terrain tools, you know, quite cool. But is anything that's made by Unity Technologies um, is, is really good stuff. Uh, the Unity Particle Pack is worth getting. It's got loads of um, effects like flames and smoke. You might want to play that later. So I'm just going to look at this one, the standard assets. This is a really good place to start. It has a load of, you know, quite gamey things, but you can see you can make almost anything of it. And I think we're going to start with this because this has got content that we can start to use to make uh, our project. And I know this will always be free, so you know I'm never going to ask anybody to have to pay for something. Um, and because I've already got it in my assets, I'll just click Open in Unity. And I'll get a little prompt saying, do you want to open Unity Editor? Open Unity. And then it's loaded up the Package Manager, which I'm going to come to in the next lesson. So I'm going to stop that one there. I'm just going to go back and just show you some other things. So if, you, um, if you're back in your Unity Asset Store, um, up here you've got different applications and the cart and things if you're buying just like anything else. Saved assets for something you like, you just click you know, the heart symbol, and I've got a little collection of things that I've I've been saving for you know when I'm looking for stuff later on. Um, and you click on my assets, and don't judge me, I'm a bit of a collector of assets. Um, 236 items. So a lot of these are free, a lot of these I paid for. Um, a lot of them I got from something called a Humble Bundle. I don't know if any of you know it, but it's worth signing up and getting their emails. Occasionally they have deals where they'll sell you, you know, sort of like 40 or 50 odd packages of stuff for you know 20 or 30 dollars. So worth checking that out. Um, and if I see something I, I like, I you know, it's, it often comes up in a, in a project. So for instance, the, the color picker tool. Um, I needed to build a color picker into a, an app that I was building once, so I just went and bought that. Um, the sci-fi facility was something I was doing a project where I needed some motion capture inside a science fiction scene, so I went and bought a sci-fi facility. So you know these things come up. Loading screen was something I got for free. It came in a it came in a package or something else I bought. So you know you can see all these other cool stuff. There's some good code like Azure Connect examples. You know if I plug that in um, to the project, it'll then give me some code and some scripts that connects to an Azure Connect, um, which is the camera I'm speaking to you on. I haven't got another one handy, but it's a it's what came out of the Microsoft Xbox Connect uh, system. It's now a development tool. And uh, when you've got a connect, connect to your computer and you're running that, you get loads of tools and, and systems that have been built by somebody. So you don't have to do the coding. You can probably buy it. Um, you know, I've got an Arduino support system in there. You know, I haven't tried it yet. I just I bought it because I thought I was ready to do it and I haven't got around to it yet. So uh, sometimes you've got little projects and you're trying to figure out how to make something work um, and you end up just, just buying something because you think that might get you where you need to go. Uh, PBR stage equipment. This is actually quite good. This is um, some nice scenery and lighting effects and things that are quite handy if you're trying to put together a, uh, a demo of something and you want to put it in a stage environment. I mean, it's not the sort of set design I would have chosen for myself, but you know, it's it's kind of it's kind of quite cool. And it's yeah, so it was twenty six dollars um, at some point in my life when I needed something in a hurry. Um, PBR, if you're interested, stands for physically based rendering. It means it's accurately rendered in real time. So. You know, a bit cheesy, but kind of useful. And it might just be that you're just taking a light out of it. In fact, I think that's why I bought it. I think I wanted some moving light 3D models, and I, I wanted to get some that were that were open license rather than stealing them from another 3D program. So, um, you know, I, I went and bought this package because somebody had already modeled the 3D light. You think that's a lot of money for twenty six dollars? You know, think about it this way: an Unreal Engine developer gets paid a hundred, uh, sorry, eight hundred dollars a day. So. Uh, what's an hour of their time worth? Um, you know, 3D modeling, is it worth paying $5 or five pounds for something rather than making it yourself? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the amount of time that you'd save um, if you're working by the hour and you're working on projects, I think my clients would rather know that I was putting 
my skill into something that only I could do and I was buying the 3D models from someone else. So don't be ashamed of buying all this stuff. Later on, I'm going to talk you through um, uh, some other 3D pro projects you can use like uh, Sketchfab, CG Trader, um, uh, uh, Turbo Squid, you know, different ways of, of importing 3D models into Unity. But uh, the asset store is, is a good first place to go to. You know, it's got it's got pretty much everything. It's a huge store. There's millions of things on there. Um, and I'm sure you'll find what you want. So if you're starting off, let's just go back to that Unity um, assets. Let's try that and should hopefully come up standard assets. Try searching for that. Make sure that's actually installed in your project. Okay, so I clicked open in Unity and open Unity Editor and it's loaded up in my package manager here. Okay, and we're gonna stop the lesson there and pick up in the next one where we can talk about the package manager.